Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming where we are continuing our let's play on Rome Total War Remastered and last episode we took this huge city, Memphis, and we also took the campus city, uh, Scythii, which is the Scythian's capital. Um, now, from looking on the thing, it looks like they had like seven. So with that gone, that'd be six. So one, two, three, and then another three more somewhere, which I'm hoping are down here because that's where we want to go. Don't want to get up into the Germanic lands just yet. It might happen that they declare war on us and we have to. Um, however, I don't want to have to deal with that just yet. Um, now, everything else, we're looking okay. So I think we end the turn. I think we've done everything we can. Yeah, we've done everything we can. So let's end the turn. <laughs> Egyptians, last, last ditch attempt. Right, where are you going to go? Yeah, Antioch, because it's our capital. Um, that is fine. Yeah, Thuxtra the lewd. Let's see what... Why is he lewd? Oh, it just is lewd. This man has no restraint in his lewd and lash... Lash... What the hell is that word? Lashivicious? Lashivious? Lashivious language and behaviour and delights in his collection of unusual artworks. Minus three influence with 50% decrease the cost to bribe. <laughs> but he has a wife above reproach, apparently, and he's a victor. So, crazy bloke, but... He's only 25 and he's already known as that. <laughs> so, I don't know. Construction. Right, let's do all our construction and let's get about five battles out of the way, guys. Uh, we want to keep get them happy up there. Frasper, that's great now we've got that. Let's go for execution square. Do you know what we should get in Antioch is a academy to get some better generals and stuff. Just keep getting them, keep making them happy around these places because they will be unhappy uh, at some point. Especially if we keep moving our capital further and further away. I think 80% distance capital is the max you can get, though. Right, and Kira, let's keep going with that. Palmyra, yeah, Palmyra's done. Not even anywhere near to upgrading, um, but I do think we took it reasonably recently. Um, right, what do we want to do? Jerusalem, probably that. Let's get the population growth going. Halicarnassus. Um, let's go with the market. Bostra, fine, whatever. Alexandria. Uh, Alexandria will become a huge money hub for us in the future, so... Uh, let's go with the docker. It's not going to be a recruitment hub around here because... Once we've defeated Egypt, there's no one else to fight around here. The Namidians, but the Namidians are trash. So, um, I guess it's fine. Yeah, Campus City will also retrain the rest of you guys. And we've got three more archers we need to recruit before we move out. And it looks, is that a, oh, it's just a minor city. But it looks like, looks like, oh no, that's Greek. Greek design, isn't it? I'm going to say it looks Roman, but... They look pretty similar, so... Right. These guys... No one needs any retraining, so let's send them up there. Sardis will get all these guys retrained. Doesn't matter, it's going to take us a few turns to get a full army of Pergamum anyway, and to get people across. Do you know what? We're probably a good idea to recruit a couple of boats while we're here. And we can go boom straight across, drop them off. Um, yeah, I want to take. Yeah, I want to take um, Salamis ASAP. We need two navies, that's for sure. Get you. We'll get these these generals in um, Alexandria because well, that's where we're going to be sending everyone, isn't it? So. They want archers. What do you have as your infantry? Hillman. Honestly, that's fine. I, I'm not bothered about that. Uh, replacing those hillmen for... If they were eastern infantry, we'd replace them with archers. But because they're hillmen... Oh, dear, dear me. Dear me. Poor uh, Egypt, huh? That's all that's left. Terrible. 
think, uh, yeah, next turn... Mm, show what we'll... I don't know whether we can drop them off with that. So if you, with that little exploit, if you put troops on a ship and then click on the troops rather than the ship, you can move the ship as much movement as previously. Um, so without trying to explain this, so you can move them as much movement as they would have if they'd have just docked on next to it and the ship hadn't moved at all that turn. So, we uh, might try and do that to get them to slam it. I just can't remember, however, whether you can move them off boats. Like, they might not be able to be moved off boats. That's the one issue we may have. Kill as many of these chariots as we can. Getting shot, and we're getting shot by them. Yes, that's one general dead. Right, we should be able. To, this is the last stand of Egypt. Uh, if they have, actually, if they have no. Generals. I don't know. We'll just go like that. I, I'm hoping we will shoot them enough without even getting attacked by them. Actually, whoops! Get, get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with a mass route of these guys. Honestly. Do you know what? They've chased us though. Oh, that is it. I'm assuming that means that Egypt's dead. From that sound in the end. Because that would be their last general. That means they die and all the rest of their provinces become rebel settlements. So we actually don't need to worry about Salamis really if that's the case until we've got a full army together. So that would be good. We already have 70% 70, 70 that's pretty good. But we'll exterminate just in case. No, they're not dead. New merchant. Uh, olive oil looks like you can make some money doing that. They must have a general here. That must be a general. Right, let's see whether we can do this tactic or not. Uh, we'll take those eastern, we'll take these eastern guys. We'll also take uh, 27. You're 32. I don't want you 32 year old. We'll take this 22 year old guy. Right, let's get on the boat. So, if you do this, it's a bit of an exploit. Hmm, I, they might have changed it, you know. If they've changed it, that's fair enough, because it's been an exploit for a long time. Yeah, they have changed it, and they've removed it. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> kind of. All these little armies running about. Oh, it's the Martha as well. Forgotten about you. Wait. Yeah, we do have peasants, don't we? There's no general here, though, as well. So I'm guessing... That other... That, that must be a general in there. In Salamis. Definitely. Surely. It's got to be. So I guess we'll see. Let's get a bit of experience for these guys, if we can. They are good in melee as well, so we just literally don't need to worry about them. If these peasants get killed or run away, though, bit of a nightmare. They're all Nubians. They should fall like flies. Yeah, they're getting it. Especially if they turn their back. In case you don't know, depending what way... Depending what way they're facing depends on their defense value. So if they're facing to the left with their shields, because their shields are in the left hand, they will have. I'm pretty sure it's it works left and right, not just front and back as well. Um, but I've always known it to be left and right as well. But definitely, if they're back, if they turn their back, their defense value goes down a lot. 
to get everyone here if we can. We should all be able to hit these guys now. Right, now we should be able to shoot the rest of these guys. Yep. Okay, there we are. Perfect, we didn't lose anyone. Good. We might have lost some people to friendly fire, but they didn't even kill any of us. Oh, wait, there might be some... One of the generals might be in one of those little armies. I guess we'll have a look. We'll just enslave Damartha because it's trash. Ah, from our newly acquired settlements, have we destroyed the temples? No, we haven't. Yeah, it was Zoroastra here. So, did we... Yeah, we didn't move to building anything, which is trash from us. Uh, right, we'll get a peasant here. Why are we looking in Memphis? Get a peasant, if we can. Yeah, peasant there as well. I'm just waiting for the uh, Numidians to attack. That'll be funny. I'm trying to remember what we got here. Yeah, we're doing that. Ready to attack them. Oh, Jesus. We have zero armor. That's fine. How many hit points do they have, though? Can we see? Uh, two hit points. Okay. I forgot that that was <laughs> the people left in Themyscira. It is only five turns, so we'll wait them out. Do we have any more troops we can get? Yeah. We will wait them out, though. I don't want to have to deal with those. They're all experienced as well. All right, Campus City. See, this is nearly a full stack as well, which is great. Um, so, yeah. There's nowhere we can recruit archers, is there? Not around here. I prefer the archers than I would just hillmen or something. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's still nowhere that can produce archers. Hopefully, how long is it till you're built? Two. Ah, that's just to get slingers. You're building that one, which is good, I guess. That's the only thing you can build. Hmm. Well, not ideal. Fine. And we're starting to get some good experience in this army. No, there must be a general. Ah, uh, yeah, there is. Let's see if we can kill him. Let's just take these guys out. Um, and we'll try and make sure we kill him. If I'm just... The only reason I'm doing that is because if that's the case, all those armies will become rebel armies run away, which is great. First of all, we don't want to have to keep dealing with tiny little armies, especially if they start trying to um, siege us. How did we get half of these guys upgraded and half not? I'll have to have a look. Uh, okay, you're just chariot archers, you're the actual general. Right, come on then, let's go. I'll keep them on skirmish. Look at this, the horde of horse archers. Charging forth. So if that is the last general they have, which I don't think it is because it's only 31 troops. There we are. Oh, he is the king. So he might actually be the last one. What's going on here? Oh, it's because them rocks, isn't it? I was going to say, I can't put the troops out. Get around there, guys. Then we'll re, uh, refocus. They are chariot archers, so they shouldn't charge us. I'm not really bothered about these. All I wanted to kill was the general, but... Yeah, I'm just hoping that that general is the last one. It did say the king, so I'm guessing it is. If not, there's another one somewhere. 
If he is, that's the end of Egypt. No, they have another somewhere. Hmm. Must be here. That must be a general. Oh well. Is this the place? Okay, no. We can upgrade them all here. We can retrain them all there, so... Once we've got that peasant, we'll move them all to Alexandria and upgrade them. Right. So... Once that's done and we're ready to move out, we'll move. Uh, are we recruiting a peasant? Oh, we did just bring a peasant so we could leave them behind. Also, are you just a captain as well? Yeah. They have... So they do have one general somewhere. We're going to bring you straight down to Jerusalem. Um, also, how are we looking for elephants? I think we'll bring two now to Antioch. It's a while though. It takes a while. Um... Other thing we want to do around here is build some watchtowers along this this border if we can. So I'll send you to do that. Right down here. Yep, we're all good I think. So let's send to turn. See what happens. Okay, inactive spy. Yeah, we don't need spies here anymore, do we? Um, yeah, we don't need you here either. Sure, you can come down to Antioch if you can. Active fleets. Oh yeah, we have this fleet. I forgot about them. Doo, doo, doo. What do we want to do with this one? Uh, we could probably bring him around to Pergamum and get those get this army across pretty quickly. Yeah, let's do that. And then this other fleet. Uh, yeah, you're just fighting rebels. Uh, probably don't need all four. You, uh, well, you've got enough money. <laughs> At this point, efficiency is not a huge issue. Friend. Mm, do we want an alliance with Carthage? I think for now, that would probably okay. be a good one. Especially against the Romans, seeing as they are uh, at war with all the Romans. Let's have a look on our map after this. One thing that annoys me about the end turn is the map always shuts. Why? Why does it shut that map? Let us now talk reasonably. Do what? Scythia, yes. I Do I accept this? I'll take a ceasefire if you give us that this settlement, whatever this one is. I guess in that set, just give us that. And... Regretfully, we must decline. Ah, no! Please, Themyscira, please. I forgot. <laughs> They're two hit points and their archers as well. Do you know what, that probably best option is to try the auto-resolve. But I can't, see, I, I can't see us winning this unless we can, you know, get them split one after the other. Um, and they are sallying out, so they might actually do that, you know. But <laughs> I doubt it. We have to stay right on the edge of their range as well. If we can catch a couple with the barbarian mercenaries, but I, I doubt the barbarian mercenaries will will hold for very long. Their morale's not good enough. Yeah, they will actually do that. So let's get here if we can, so that we can just fire on them as soon as we possibly can. Oh, they've got no things. I think we'll do that. Get these guys here. I think okay. They're gonna be they're gonna find it really hard to maneuver out here. So that's one good thing. Get rid of that. I I think you should just go and charge them, honestly. That's us our guys dying. Not taking any of these guys down yet. <laughs> We have split them up a little bit. Okay, they're starting to die now. Good. Okay, yeah. Concentrating them like that is 100% the option. War cry and let's go. Let's go, let's go. Quick. You have done your war cry now, guys. Now, boys. Kill that general as well. Let's get these closer. Can start firing their javelins into them as well. Oh, 
Yes. He was. Chase him. Chase him. Let's go. Let's go. Get through. Let's go. If we can, we'll go capture their center and just defend it off. Go, 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 boys. Yes. Come on, boys. Let's go. Yeah, they've already seen the danger. We could. Hmm. It's two versus one, isn't it? The ratio wise, I mean, these guys think. Let's go Canter Canterbury and circle. And we'll do that. Kill these guys, come on. Whoop. Problem with chariots, they just can't go through the city. They just don't know what they're doing. Let's get rid of the Canterbury in circle. Actually, yeah, we do only want to be in the range of one of them. That's the one issue that we have. Come on, guys. Sort yourself out. There's a few dying now, which is good. Might need to go and just fire into them. Get the Sarmatians up there. At the end, all we need to do is just break these guys. Okay, they're dying quite nicely. How many have died of these? Not, uh, none. <laughs> none, I think. Don't want this general to die, that's one thing. Uh, Sarmatians, let's go here as well, if we can. Yeah, I think we just go here and make sure they all die now. Get out, General, please. Chariots are good versus you. Ah! He's gonna die. He's 100% gonna die. If he dies, we might all lose. We might all die as well. Uh, come on, take him out one by one, guys, please. They're steady still. Oh wow, we took all of those. See, I thought they would be better. Some missile attacks, 8. So this is 13. So, I don't know what's going on there. But I guess their efficiency is rubbish. Also, when you think about it, oh, it's only half of what uh, it was with the original people, if you know what I mean. It's only half. Because uh, So, it counts as two people. Uh, the way they're set up, it counts as two people, but it's actually not, is it? Yep, yeah, shoot these guys. Alright, let's go, guys. Come on. Yes! Okay. Oh, well, that's those horrible Amazon chariots destroyed, which is brilliant. Nice. Um, well, it's glad that's out of the way as well. It's such an annoying place to try and take. Okay, so you're in Antioch again, so we have more disastrous bio attempts. Ooh. Tried to put one of our merchants out of business. And was bought out in turn. <laughs> Fair enough. Shocking. Shocking troops. Desert infantry. 
Actually, you know, they're not horrendous, but they're not good at all. Okay, new sun. Lycia. We had an earthquake. That's not ideal, is it? Nothing to repair, though. Just to retrain some peasants. Yeah, you can bring people across if you want. Right, Antioch expands. That's absolutely excellent. Themyscira, resistance is futile. Yep, silly Amazon chariots. Got more war elephants. That's great. Uh, we'll go do that construction in a bit. Let's just check up here how we're doing. We did exterminate them, so... They have Roman as well. What the hell? Greek, Barbarian, 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 and a Roman. So, there is something to do with this settlement in terms of, like... Is it just... It's just, like... A, I can't remember. But I remember someone saying on a Let's Play, I watched, like, it's... Like, the reason why it's so far away is it's something to do with the rebels or the rebel coding or something like that. Uh, could be completely wrong there, though. Let's go for Salamis, and hopefully we'll get that next turn. Uh, do you know what? We'll go down here and try and get this army. They're going to try and attack there. That's fine. They're not going to be able to take it in one turn, so no problems with that. Uh, I don't want to have to deal with you guys. Move. Mm. How is this? Do you know what? Me auto resolve this. I don't want to fight these Egyptians. Come on, we'll, we'll just go. We'll just leave. Uh, I mean, we'll get there. We, we've got. We've still got to build up, up a navy anyway, so. Doesn't really matter. Uh, you know what? We'll send this guy building watchtowers. Seeing as he's already here, get rid of the rebels when they're around as well. Build one there. We'll build one here, and we'll build one here next to the camels. You need to come down here. In Antioch. We're still building troops in Antioch. I think that's the right decision. Uh, Build two archers here. What about in Sidon? Can we build archers in Sidon? Uh, no. Anywhere else? Bostra? No. Uh, so just two then I'm guessing. So we can build them in Antioch, can we? No. Cannot build archers anywhere. <laughs> Unfortunately. Retrain you guys. Send... You three down here. Don't think we need more. Honestly. Let me train you. Yeah, I don't think we really need more. Getting the Persian cavalry now, which is fine. They'll be able to re um, recover our units up, up there. Uh, well, where's the elephants? Alright, let's get down to Antioch. Uh, yeah, I don't want to deal with that. Themyscira's horrible, horrible unrest, so hopefully getting those peasants will be able to solve it. Now we did, did we sign a ceasefire with these guys? No, we didn't. Right, no worries. Uh, uh, we'll leave behind one of you. Two of you, because, I don't know, just one of you actually. Two, so we'll replace you and you. Yeah, that'll be fine. Do the same tactic as we always do. So, yeah, we only have two archers. So we need two more, ideally. Take Campus Gete. Should be nice. Um, yeah, we're doing well. We've kind of chilled out a little bit. Because we have basically wrapped up the Egyptians now. Oh, is that? That's another general. Is he... The... His traits are unknown. No worries. We'll get you in with that army. Just so that we... Uh, still unknown traits. Ah. Get him in the army just because obviously we're going to lose him. Let's... We did get an alliance with Carthage. So let's go... I think we did. I thought they gave us map information as well. 
Well, I guess not. Or was it us giving them map information? I don't know. Right, let's end the turn. Egypt, what are you going to say? Ceasefire. <laughs> 170 denarii. Wait, I tell you what. Our patience is limited. Okay, yeah, they can't give us... They can't give us a city. That means that they are screwed. That's their last city. Thrace is destroyed as well. Um, we didn't do that, so that's pretty sad. But uh, I guess Macedon did, so fine. What were all these armies doing, Thrace? You should have been defending your lands. Yeah, we're richest faction now. That's fine. We're richest and strongest. So it turns out having all of this side of the map is quite good. Alright, Susa. Yes, get us that armory. Right, we need the bazaar to upgrade the next armor when we become a huge city. Sinope, need happiness for you, so we'll go with that. And Kira, get some population growth. Tanias. Yeah. So unfortunately we can only do one level of roads. That that's the one annoying thing about this faction. Or in terms of the rest of the building roster, like it's pretty good. I like it. Um, but yeah, that's the one annoying thing. We'll get another port here. Oh no, no we won't. We'll get this. Four turns though. Memphis. Let's keep getting happiness. Actually we get law because uh, we need law here to... Um, yeah, look at that corruption. Five, we're losing 430 just from corruption. Uh, Campus Scythi. Scythi Eye. Ooh, very unhappy actually, aren't they? Maybe they got a spy um, inside there. So we'll get the wooden wall. Themyscira. Keep making them, trying to make them happy. We'll also, I'll tell you what, we'll get roads first. If they kick us out, it'll be fine. What's... I think it'll just be barbarian rebels rather than the Amazons as we saw last time. So that'll be a lot better. Okay, those Egyptians have, have made haste. Yep, watchtower. Watchtower again, please. Come to here and we'll build another one. Yeah, do we... I don't know. Do we want to... We want to retrain this this guy as well. Um, yeah, all of you guys could do with getting retrained. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Make it flat again. Uh, right, all of you, if we can. Not going to be able to retrain them all at once anyway. Oh no, it's only those guys without the uh, upgrades. So, and obviously all these guys as well. Uh, we do want the general to get upgraded, so. What do we not? Does it not have a stables? Alexandria not have a stables? Oh my days. So we can't even retrain them properly. Uh, we can just train them up to get their blacksmith upgrades. Uh, we'll get rid of that shipwright building then and go with the stables. Uh, and in three turns we'll be able to. Uh, sort them all out as well right Jerusalem you know what once we've got them we might be able to get all the four we'll get two slingers two of those guys he's running away good elephants are coming right so Salamis up here we're just sorting out the armies <gasps> excuse me down here we're waiting for a boat so you and hello Bruti. Okay, so no, they're just Principes and Hastati. Velate gladiators are trash. I don't know why they're recruiting them. Um But I guess they like them. <laughs> We've got two slots for infantry. So what infantry do we want rather than archers? Okay, I guess we'll get two hillmen. These guys have got the armor upgrade as well, which is excellent. So once that's ready, we'll get these, pop these guys straight across. Once this boat's here, we'll pop these guys onto roads. So we've got two siege battles to do. 
Uh, you know what? We're going to auto resolve that. We lost 18 men, no problems. Faction destroyed Egypt. Excellent. I'm thinking about it, maybe I shouldn't have done that when it's the last faction, but oh well. The last uh, settlement of the faction. But that means all these guys are now rebels. Excellent for us. Get rid of that. And we'll go for Zoroaster, of course, and a peasant unit. We'll send these guys back across to Antioch when we can. Um, yep, yeah, come up here. And we'll put together a big army, if we can. Ah, yes, we're going to take these. Well, we'll take them across, then we'll move that ship down there. Then, we need one more navy, really. I'll tell you what, send you across there. Because we will send an army up to deal with Namidia. Not going to be an issue. New merchant again. Okay. Purple die. Nice one. Yep. Salamis. Not happy here. That's fine. It doesn't. 69%. It's unlikely they're going to rebel. Problem now is we are getting to the. Armoured factions, and we have not got experienced horse archers. I don't know how, though. How many battles have we done? And we've still not got full experienced horse archers. Uh, where do we find how many battles we've done? Lists should just be here, actually. Yeah, battles won 78, battles lost 5. So we've done 78 battles. A lot of these troops have done a little, like 10, 20 battles and they don't have any experience. But, oh well. Right, we'll take, uh, is it Campus Getai? Yeah, Campus Getai, and then we'll probably end the episode there after that. Uh, but yeah, we're in a pretty good, strong situation and we are soon going to be the rulers of Greece. The Parthian hordes will absolutely smash through Greece. And then we'll move on to the Romans, where hopefully we should start getting some good experienced troops. Um, and some elephants in the field. Which would be absolutely excellent. Um, right. Roman. Roman. Oh, is this Roman or Greek? Have we got... Uh, what's this? Governor's Palace. Okay, it might be Greek. Is this the Greek style of bill of city? guessing so. Um, if that's the case, we want to come through this way anyway. That's this this troop setup is a mess. But uh, you guys get there. You get there. Um, horse archers here. A few getting some experience on here now. Generals. Right. You. There. I want one of you drop that. You want you want to go there. You want to go there. Uh, you. To be fair, you can go there. Get up there. Get there. Get there. Well, oh, that's everyone in it. Uh, oh wait. Ah, how did we, how did I put you there? Ah, well, oh well. Terrible. Shouldn't be too hard a battle. Uh, balance of powers are always a bit silly on uh, stuff like this. Could actually do, what are you? Oh, Axeman. Well, we're going to lose that battle. Uh, who are you? You're just Archer Warband versus our Archers, I Doubt very much that you will melee attack three. They're just the same, basically. Our archers just have no armor. <laughs> we'll get you. I want you to come up here. I want you. Oh, no, they're running away. That's the best thing that could have happened. Honestly, you are going to get slaughtered up there, but it will hold those axemen there for a bit. Uh. 
just tempted to just charge, you know. Charge everything. Uh, problem is now, I want you. So once these guys are on, we'll move them this way. Oh no, the, the archer axemen are coming this way. That's exactly the opposite of what we want. Um. Your siege towers have reached the walls. Right, well, you come through here. I'll send you there. I'm gonna run in front of the towers a bit, so. Uh, you know what? Fuck you, archers and axemen. Or baron. We will fire as many arrows as we can at them. Should be able to reach them now. Get a bit closer. Run away. I want you. Get up there. Can they get out that way? No. Which is kind of weird. Uh, you archers, yeah, you're running along this way, aren't you? Um, that's fine. I think we'll bring you back to here, to be fair. When you're done, you can go sandwich the rest of them. Uh, yeah, get them the axemen. Uh, yep, sergeant men, let's get you. The uh, generals are probably going to lose the general here, as usual. But no worries. I want you to get there, archers, please. You actually just stay there. Who are these guys firing at, though? 58. I'm assuming it's them. It's both, I'm guessing, but I'm not doing a great job of either, really. Uh. Scythian horse archers there, general. Oh, they do have a barbarian warlord and quite a lot of them actually. Get in there and kill those archers. It's just not really hitting them because of the walls. So, not an issue. Uh, right, you guys come here. Are you going to get on the walls or what? Absolute slugs. Uh, sh they should be our towers now, these ones. Still their gateway. But we need these guys to come this way first. Actually, you come through here. And it'll become our gateway. No, it is ours now. Alright, excellent. You stand there and shoot uh, to your heart's content. These archers don't know what to do. Poor archers. Uh, so they have, they do have their warlord. I, I don't like that, that warlord. Uh, Scythian. Not Scythian, apparently. Scythian. Let's just get it, yeah. Whatever. These siege battles are not ideal at the minute. What is that? I think that's archers, isn't it? Is that a barbarian or Scythian horse archers? They shouldn't be charging us. They might, they might do. That warlord hopefully doesn't charge us. That'd be good. Uh, yeah, they're broken because of too many men. Where are, them? are those axemen dead then? Well, excellent for us. Uh, let's go after these guys. Hoping. Okay. 
Let's get there. We have a huge amount of troops. Yeah, I do not want to be killed by these. I'm fully routed by these. Oh my days. Come on guys. You can do it. I promise you you can do it. I just want to take a few out while we're going. If that's possible. Where's my generals? There you are. Go fight that archer warband. Uh, actually, we send you <coughs> into the middle if we can. They're just going to break straight away. Let's go guys if we can. The one good thing about it is that they just get stuck on the back of our troops and then that's it. You keep going. You're a mercenary so I'm not really bothered about losing you. But I want to just be able to still fire at them while we're running away. Uh, what are you and who are you? That's one question. Uh, right, let's go kill those Scythian horse archers. Uh, you guys just come up here if you can. How many's left? 24 still. Right, okay, that's fine. Know what we'll do? That. And whatever happens, we'll get a. Uh, you can go there. Who are you? You're just archers, right. And go there. They're going to come back this way, it looks like. Uh, why do you just stand there and do nothing? It's quite annoying. We'll uh, run these Eastern Infantry into the Barbarian Warlord because the Barbarian Warlord is absolutely useless. Um. Uh, sorry, the Eastern Infantries are useless. Right, there we are. Ah, oh, that was fine. Didn't manage to have a mass route of all the uh, horse archers, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Glorious victory. Let's exterminate once again. Full on extermination mode now, which is horrible, but it's the way it's going to be from now on. Uh, repair that. We've just got 90% public order here, which is actually not bad at all. Still recruiting archers here, which we'll replace the uh, these guys with. I don't want to do that. I prefer to retrain you. Um, took Salamis, didn't we? I think we can probably leave straight away. Yeah, we can. Okay. If not for the ships. Whoops. Resistance is futile. Superior commander. Let's just check we can we've moved everywhere that we can. So Yep, up there obviously. Down here, yep, we're taken there. Uh, you're just standing here. Need a spy around here. Do we have one? Hmm. No, oh, you're a Dacian uh, person. Look at all these rebel merchants. Look at them all. <laughs> How is there so many? Taking the whole eastern side of the map now. Like, from north to the very south. Which is pretty good. Uh, what does the white... Uh, settlement idol. Right, okay means we've got a few places we need to build that I haven't realized um, so we've obviously missed out on one of our construction things um, right here yep we're retraining everyone we can so let's keep on with that then we'll retrain these guys uh, when we can and we'll send probably the worst army which is this one this way try and get some more experience and we'll send these guys across the sea Yep, 
these guys are ready to go as well. Uh, that's probably going to be in the hands of the Brutii, so we will be declaring war on the Brutii next turn, uh, next uh, episode, which is great for us. Hit those two hillmen, and then we'll spin these guys across. Yeah, we've started to get a few navies now, which is good. We needed them. You, yep, all coming that way. Right, that's everything, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Um, we will, if you want to stick around, I'm going to have a look at the faction summary. We are just exploding. Uh, we'll go for, we can go for all factions because we can see where we are. Militarily wise, uh, dark green. No, Gauls, they've gone down a bit. I'm assuming that's Brutii then. Yeah, it is. So the Brutii are pretty strong, so it's going to be a bit of an epic standoff with them. Uh, we'll just go for t top five. So that's the Scipii. The British as well have started to come up. Production-wise, uh, no one else can... So our economy is just, just going to be even better than what it already is in 10, in ten turns. Territorial-wise, so we've done about nearly 50 turns and we're at 33 territories so all right we've had a couple of turns where we haven't taken any um so obviously you know it's one every it's one every one and a half turns really we're taking which is good financial ranking uh wow is that the brutii yeah we've just overtaken the brutii but we have gone up like crazy who are you so the brutii is still only on seven which is shockingly bad uh, Gauls are on 9, also bad. No one has anywhere close to the amount of territory we do. They're all shocking. Financial, population ranking, they all got reasonably big populations, but I've got more than double what they what the nearest person has, and then overall we're still doing well. So, thank you very much guys for watching. Um, hopefully we'll see you again on the next episode.